Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Unboxicology. In this channel, I will be doing totally random unboxings and product reviews. So here in this video, I start off my very first unboxing with my first ever iMac. Now believe it or not, I actually ordered this iMac in December and it was delivered on December 19th, but I'm just now opening the box here in 2020. Yup, so the box literally sat in my bonus room office desk for all this time. And although this is my first time owning an iMac computer, I am an avid Apple user. So there wasn't a huge rush for me to unbox because I already own an iPhone 10, a MacBook Air, and a MacBook Pro. So again, it wasn't extremely detriment or pressing that I unboxed this before today. So let's just cut to the chase and jump right in. So here is the box, a huge box, and here you go. Um, we missed the sound of cutting through that um, tape, the sealed tape, but here we are now unlocking the box. The specs are in the description box, but this is an eighth generation, 21 and a half inch with Retina 4K display. The system is configurable up to 32 gigabits. I paid $11.99 via military discount, and I deliberately chose the 21 inch for its compactness and portability. So here you have the power cord, which plugs into the back of the unit. I'm unboxing, taking away the styrofoam, and here it is, my screen. So now I'm about to remove the protective cover from the screen. We're gonna start in the back there, removing the little sticker. And so there's the Apple sticker. And now to remove this little felt, paper felt like cover, paper cover. I'm so excited. There we go. There's the Apple logo. Guys, I'm so excited. I've never owned an iMac. There it is. And now I'm going to just remove the plastic film and excuse that mess. This is here in my bonus room, as well as my office, as well as my workout room. And my little workout equipment you can see in reflection. But now we're taking off the tape. Ta-da, and here we go. There it is. So now I'm gonna turn this baby around, get a wide shot, and there's the shot. Now I'm gonna unwrap the power cord, and it's a pretty nice length cord. And I'm just going to turn the unit around and plug in the cord. and then turn on the power button. Um, the power button is located on the lower side in the back of the unit. So while the computer is powering up updates, I'm gonna to continue to unbox the keypad and the mouse. And here is the keypad. It's nice, and the mouse. And now the keypad charge cord. And the paperwork. Um, with the paperwork, you're gonna get your Apple sticker. and the white cloth and y'all this white cloth is too cute it comes packaged looking like a little envelope
Okay, I am one of those types of people. I love to hold on to paperwork and original packaging of anything expensive that I purchase, especially this being an iMac. I want to make sure that I hold on to all the paperwork, the original box, even the shipping box. And so I'm putting all my wrappers, all the wrapping, cellophane, styrofoam, everything back in its box so that I can preserve it and store it for later in case I ever need to return the computer. All my warranty papers are there. Everything's already there. So now the computer screen is telling me to turn on my magic mouse. So right now I am turning that on. And I am about to plug in the charging cord for my keypad. So first I'm going to plug in the charging cord on the back of my keypad. Um, I've already plugged it in on behind the unit. So now I'll plug it in on my keyboard and then I turn on my keyboard. So now it is asking me to log into my Wi-Fi and um, to continue on with um, registering my iMac and then to configure my personal settings. Y'all, I'm super excited to be upgrading um, my Apple products. Again, my MacBook Pro is a 2010. It won't even do the latest updates in, in terms of the latest, um, like it's, it's not even accepting some of the updates. And um, it doesn't have AirDrop. So what I did is I did look into looking at other iMac Pros, um, but they're really expensive um, outside of my budget line um, that I was willing to pay. So when I went to the Apple store, they said that I can kind of get a mid-range or lower sort of to mid-range iMac. And that is going to work far more faster and be far more powerful than my MacBook Pro 2010. So that's what I did. So I have all my um, bases covered in terms of um, what I want to use it for, for my YouTube channel. Um, I've been editing on my um, MacBook Pro and also on my iPhone 10. So I'm just super excited to see how fast um, this uh, iMac works, how quickly it sort of uploads. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond excited. And while my um, iMac is still updating, I just wanted to show you a quick glimpse of all my little Apple devices. Yeah, you see that salmon pink iPhone 5 there. Um, yeah, my trusty iMac Pro, my MacBook Air and all my other gadgets and so with this latest addition to my apple family i am just doing the finishing touches in terms of my complete my computer being completely set up i love the brilliant color this retina display is absolutely gorgeous one thing that i am going to miss miss about my macbook pro is the cd dvd drive I love it I love the drive but that's okay I bought an adapter an external DVD drive CD drive for my iMac but this is towards the end guys I want to thank you it with sticking it out with me and um, you know watching this very first unboxing my computer is doing what it needs to do I am completely happy i cannot wait to upload and edit my first video on my imac and um, stay tuned um, be sure to like comment subscribe there'll be more to come and thank you stay blessed